Hey everybody, one of the most requested videos I get is to review more modern games, like games of the PS3 and such. Well, I just completed the game Heavy Rain, so I thought I'd try to review it. Well, here goes nothing. When I first heard about Heavy Rain early this week, I was intrigued. I've always been a fan of mystery stories, and to have one in a video game, I just couldn't pass it up. So I picked up Heavy Rain, and, well, it was awesome. I could best describe it as playing a movie. You're given four main characters that you play as. Ethan Mars, Madison Page, Scott Shelby, and Norman Jaden. These four characters are unrelated to each other, but depending on the choices you make as their story progresses, these characters' paths may meet. Now, I won't spoil anything, but it, it wouldn't be totally out of the question for one of the characters to meet another one of the characters. It's rather difficult to really discuss this game without spoiling anything, but this game simply tells a fantastic storyline. Never in my life can I remember being so completely drawn into a game's story the way I was with Heavy Rain. I didn't want to put the controller down and I was on the edge of my seat most of the time and my jaw dropped quite a number of times. The game throws a bunch of curveballs your way. Alright, so what's the game about? It's about the origami killer and how the four characters you play are out to find the origami killer. Each one of your decisions alters the story you will see unfold. If one of the four characters die, it doesn't matter. You simply won't see the character anymore and the story will continue. I won't tell you whether I had any of my characters die because I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. Let's briefly discuss the characters. Ethan Mars is an architect with a wife and two sons. Two years prior to the main story, his eldest son was killed in a car accident that also left Ethan in a coma. He is now stricken with grief and depressed, separated from his wife and distant from his other son, Sean. Ethan soon discovers that Sean may become the next victim of the origami killer and is forced to go to extreme lengths to save him. Scott Shelby is a retired police officer who is now a private investigator. He's a tough guy but still has a good sense of humor and he suffers from asthma which will come into play at certain points throughout the game. Madison Page is a photojournalist living alone in the city. Suffering from chronic insomnia like me unfortunately, she occasionally checks into motels as they are the only place she can properly sleep. She eventually finds herself involved in the latest origami killer case, conducting her own investigations. Lastly, there's Norman Jaden. Norman Jaden is an FBI profiler sent to support the police force with their investigation into the origami killer. Jaden possesses a set of experimental augmented reality glasses called an Added Reality Interface, or ARI for short. It allows him to rapidly investigate crime scenes and analyze evidence. He is also struggling with an addiction to the drug tryptocaine. ARI is an absolutely essential and awesome element to this game. From my experience though, you can only use ARI if prompted to, which is pretty disappointing, but whatever. Now one of the parts that you'll be pretty common with are the fighting sequences. Now the fighting sequences are simply awesome. They're very similar to the God of War fight sequences. You watch the action unfold and you're prompted to either press a button or move the right analog stick in a certain direction. If you fail to do so and the bad guy gets away, your story will still go on and you can't redo it unless you go to the main menu before the origami symbol shows in the bottom right portion of the screen. It's awesome because each time you had to make a decision, I found myself pausing the game and really thinking about it. Never have I done that in any other game. Now, if you're looking for an action-packed game like Resident Evil or something, this game probably isn't for you. You're not going to be fighting monsters and constantly chasing after people. You'll watch what happens and then react when you're given the prompt to do so. This may turn away some people, but I found this method to be fun and I had no problem with it. If you're a fan of mysteries, do yourself a huge favor and pick this game up. It was a fantastic ride and I would love for there to be a sequel to this game. The gameplay could also turn some people away, but I again had no problem with them. I honestly don't think this game would have been successful if they had done them in a different manner. You move your character with R2 and control where they move with the left analog stick. At any point in the game, you can press and hold L2 to see what your character is thinking. Now what they're thinking could change depending on the situation, and what they're thinking can sometimes aid you in your mission, so listen to what they're thinking. It could help you. Now unfortunately, there's not a whole lot more I could say without spoiling it, and unlike some other people, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, and if anybody comments or even jokes about any element of the story of the game, I'll remove it immediately. This game is a very enjoyable game, and it's ruined if you know anything ahead of time. My only complaint about this game is that it's a bit too short. It took me about 10 or 12 hours to beat it, not, not in one sitting, but overall. And also, remember, there is no right way to play this game. In fact, you'll probably get an entirely different ending than me. I know my brother Nick made different decisions than me, and he'll definitely get a different ending, but he hasn't completed the game yet, so I don't know what ending he got. Well, that about covers the gist of it. I think I got everything that I wanted to touch on. So, um, how'd I do? If you have any questions about the game, be sure to drop a comment down there and I'll respond. Thanks, everybody. Heavy Rain is definitely worth the purchase.